so the next topic i will discuss is system calls in linux operating system so actually what is a system call okay how it is going to work okay so that part we are going to discuss system call it is just like a library function of c language but directly it is going to communicate with kernel of the operating system kernel of the operating system normally so when you are writing a software application so we are going to use a set of functions so each set of each function is going to perform a specific task okay so we are going to develop a software application by using many library functions okay so when coming to c language we are going to make use of f open f close f write f read printf scanf string length function string comparison okay like this uh, we can make use of many many uh, predefined library functions to develop a application whatever application we means okay so we can uh, develop c language applications by using built in functions suppose a built in function like this string comparison function so the purpose of string comparison function is to co compare two given strings so after give after comparison of two strings the relevant value the difference values return in the same way i can make use of str le uh, len function by this by this what happens here the length of the given string will be determined in the same way i can use f open function so f open function directly it cannot be executed because so as our as a application program directly we cannot communicate with kernel operating kernel of the operating system so when you are executing f open function internally it is going to make use of one system call called open so on the top of system calls the library functions are defined on the top of system calls the library functions are defined that means sir what is the difference between a system call and normal library function a system call directly it can interact with the kernel of the operating system and a library function it cannot communicate with the kernel of the operating system but what is the functionality of a system call when it is going to work how it is going to work that means there are some situations where we have to directly communicate with where we have to communicate with the kernel of the operating system let us say uh, i want to change system date and time okay so directly as a normal user i cannot change system date and time internally so in order to change date and time internally so i will be making use of i am making use of some kernel functionality or some kernel functionality otherwise i have to write some socket uh, type of programming socket programming so for that purpose also directly it is going to perform some inter related inter process communication operations so for that uh, kind of hardware related operations so we can make use of system calls system call is just like a function but the difference between system call and a library function is a library function does not communicate with kernel of the operating system but a system call it, it will directly communicate with the kernel of the operating system then what is the need of uh, communicating with the kernel means i have discussed one example suppose i want to change the system date and time for changing date and time we don't have that option we don't have that right we don't have that privilege means every time the only the system call will be able to access will be able to communicate with the kernel of the operating system means again here in order to write a application we can make use of either library functions or system calls means to develop any application so we can use library functions library functions and system calls system calls again the library functions are divided into two categories so the library functions the library functions the library functions which does not require kernel communication kernel communication so actually what is mean by kernel 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 every time saying kernel kernel means what is a kernel actually so in the very beginning classes of linux operating system we have discussed that linux operating system will be composing of three component main three components so what are the components first one is kernel kernel is the heart of the operating system without kernel there is no unix linux operating system so what are the functionalities of kernel actually memory management 
ఓకే ఫైల్ ఇన్పుట్ అవుట్పుట్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఓకే కమ్యూనికేటింగ్ విత్ డిఫరెంట్ సెల్స్ కమ్యూనికేటింగ్ విత్ హార్డ్వేర్ ఓకే కమ్యూనికేటింగ్ విత్ డేట్ అండ్ టైమ్ ఆపరేషన్స్ సో టు పర్ఫామ్ మెమరీ మేనేజ్మెంట్ సో ఆల్ దీస్ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేటివ్ జాబ్స్ ఆర్ పర్ఫామ్ బై కెనల్ ఆఫ్ ద ఆపరేటింగ్ సిస్టమ్ ఓకే ద కెనల్ ఆఫ్ ద ఆఫ్ ద ఆపరేటింగ్ సిస్టమ్ ఈస్ గోయింగ్ టు పర్ఫామ్ మెనీ అడ్మినిస్ట్రేటివ్ జాబ్స్ ఓకే సో ఇట్ కెనాట్ కమ్యూనికేట్ విత్ ఎండ్ యూజర్స్ డైరెక్ట్లీ సో ఇన్ బిట్వీన్ ఎండ్ యూజర్ అండ్ కెర్నల్ ఏ మీడియేటర్ ఈజ్ దేర్ సో ద మీడియేటర్ ఈజ్ కాల్డ్ యాజ్ షెల్ ఆఫ్ ద ఆపరేటింగ్ సిస్టమ్ ఓకే సో ద షెల్ ఆఫ్ ద ఆపరేటింగ్ సిస్టమ్ విల్ బీ వర్కింగ్ ఆన్ బిహాఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎండ్ యూజర్ మీన్స్ ఇన్ బిట్వీన్ కెర్నల్ అండ్ యూజర్ ఏ మిడిల్ లేయర్ ఈజ్ వాట్ షెల్ ద షెల్ ఈజ్ గోయింగ్ టు పర్ఫామ్ ఆల్ మీడియేటర్ జాబ్స్ ద యూజర్ ఈజ్ గోయింగ్ టు కమ్యూనికేట్ విత్ షెల్ ద షెల్ ఈజ్ గోయింగ్ టు కమ్యూనికేట్ విత్ కెర్నల్ ఆఫ్ ద ఆపరేటింగ్ సిస్టమ్ ఓకే so yeah, these are the types of library functions the library functions which does not require kernel communication second one is <coughs> does not communicate with, uh, does not require kernel communication or does not require system calls system calls next the library functions the library functions which require kernel communication kernel communication kernel communication for example for first category uh, does not require any kernel kernel communication means suppose you think of string comparison function so string comparison function does not require any kernel communication directly it is going to determine the uh, the comparison operation between two strings and let us say f open function so f open function this is high level function so which comes under a library function internally it is going to communicate with f uh, open function open is a open is a system call okay so directly it is going to communicate with kernel of the operating system okay f open function open function and uh, this uh, the library functions which does not require any kernel communication so for this category so we can have string comparison function and for second category the library functions which require kernel communications for this category we can say f open function because uh, f open function internally it is going to communicate with open open is a it is not a library function it is a system call okay the purpose the functionality of open function is uh, exactly similar to f open function that means we can perform the file open operation either with f open or open but you this is low level and this is high level this is low level that means on the top of open function f open will be working on the top of f open on the top and on the top of open function f open will be working that means in our application directly we can make use of f open or open function that means when you are using open function what happens here our application mode will be changed to kernel mode that means so if the execution mode that means the moment you execute the moment you say open function what happens here the execution mode will be transferred from user mode to kernel mode user mode to kernel mode and uh, when you are executing a like the like this a uh, normal high level function the execution mode becomes user mode only that means what is the difference between user mode and kernel mode in the user mode so we cannot communicate with kernel we cannot communicate with hardware so in the system uh, in the system call so in the, the when you are executing system call what happens here directly you can communicate with the kernel of the operating system okay that means uh, our application code may be consisting of uh, either library function or open any one you can use so if you are using open function what happens that is uh, the, that is a usage of uh, which one system calls okay here the interaction between system calls and application just i will explain here yeah, this is suppose application code so the application code directly it can contain system calls so when the application code contains system calls directly it is going to deal with the kernel kernel and this is going to di- directly deal with the hardware so in between application code and system uh, system calls uh, you can write library function also library function
application code this can uh, directly call system uh, system call or directly it can have a library function so the library function internally it is going to make use of system call and uh, system call directly it can communicate with kernel and uh, kernel directly communicate with kernel but uh, a library function cannot communicate with kernel directly okay so application code so application code directly it can communicate with library function or directly it can communicate with the system call so the purpose of system call is to perform some internal operations some hardware related operations okay so when, uh, when the my functionality is directly communicate with kernel so to uh, interact with hardware so in such cases instead of using library function directly i may be using what low level operation so the low level operation will be coming under system call so here the main difference between library function and system call is what when you are executing a library function what happens here the system execution will be in which mode so if the difference between library function and system call execution is so in the application when you are executing library function the application will be executed in user mode user mode but in your application suppose you are having system calls what happens here the application will be shifted from user mode to kernel mode okay so that is called as a context switching that is called as a context switching that means the process of uh, uh, changing the execution mode from user mode to kernel mode okay in the kernel mode the system call will be functioning the system call will be functioning that means uh, of course system calls and library functions so uh, a library a system call is exactly same as a library function but internally the functionality is different a library function cannot communicate with kernel and a library system call is directly going to communicate with kernel uh, kernel means so whenever our application need to need some uh, administrative operations so internally we have to use directly we have we can use system calls or by using library function also we can make use of system calls so that is a major difference between which one library function and system call every time the library function is executed in user mode and system call is executed in which mode kernel mode okay <coughs> so as a part of uh, system calls so just we will discuss file handling system calls file handling system calls file handling system calls file handling system calls we are going to discuss now so so as a part of file handling system calls first we are going to see open function so this is exactly same as which one f open of library function so this is going to create a brand new file along with some mode so what are the modes i will discuss so just like wo underscore rd only means what happens here so this will be a file will be opened with read mode wo underscore right only wo underscore read write okay like this we have some modes along with open function so uh, what is the usage of open function i will explain in the programming next when coming to open function read function so read function especially this is for uh, reading some data from a data file okay so this is just like f read function but the syntax is somewhat different and next function is write function write function next function is this is for writing data this is same as f write function next close function this is for closing a file next function is f stat function so this is especially for checking the status of a file okay next sixth one is <coughs> okay so these are the important uh, file handling functions which comes under system calls so these are file handling system calls so one program execution i will show on this system call just you have a look see so these are the concern required files for uh, our uh, system call sys by types dot h sys by stat dot h f file control error dot h okay these are the files required for open 
write read functions okay some of them may be missing see here so in a normal file high level operations file library functions we have discussed we have described what we have discussed we have defined a file finder but so in low level system calls we require a file descriptor file descriptor must be of integer type so using this file descriptor so i can open a file fd equal to open this is exactly same as f open function so this is some text.txt that is a brand new file to be created comma o underscore read which one right means i am opening this file for two operations read and write operations okay that is just like w plus in a c c library input output operation functions and i am declaring one array array with 50 capacity 50 size capacity i am taking one string from user one string i am reading from user after that i am i am writing that by using write function so the write function is going to take three parameters so what are the three parameters first parameter is file descriptor so our file descriptor is fd okay you can give any name okay so just for understanding you have given what fd fd the first parameter of write function is fd and address of the array and the uh, the capacity of the array what is the capacity of array 50 and after writing that so i am reading the data from same fd read fd again i am person array comma 50 so after getting data into array variable i am printing this this is a small program which uses file handling system calls so previously we have discussed that program on library functions so this program on file handling system calls so we have used three functions open function write function read function finally close function also so totally i am using uh, how many functions four functions so close so there in the like, c library functions i have used what file disk file uh, pointer here we have to use file descriptor finally say return zero <coughs> Now directly by using kernel, directly they are going to communicate with hardware. Means so these are called as the low level, low level file operations. So if you are using normal C library functions that comes under high level functions, so these are completely low level file handling IO operations. See, I will execute this. So, when you start execution, it is going to ask for a string cc file 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 io2.c code is compiled successfully dot slash a dot out. It is asking some text. Okay, any text you can give, I will give Durga software solutions okay since i have used uh, only printf the remaining characters will be ignored suppose if i use only without any gap i will use durga software solutions dss like this we can have file input output operations by using system calls any text you can give system calls test system calls test okay reading and printing using system calls